Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Gina Gannon, and I'm sitting down with a radio personality, one of my favorite people, Tony Bruno. Thank you, Tony, for letting me do the interview. And no, thank you. It's always great to see you. And you're one of my Philly's finest. Which you definitely are someone that I just consider to be someone who's so pivotal in Philadelphia. So tell me about the podcast. I love being on it. I you were great you, on there. Thank you. But I think you guys, I just love the podcast. I love how it's a combination of sports, pop culture. Tell me about the podcast. It's going well. It's the Tony Bruno Show live, so we do it live. We've been doing it on a location, but we're going to be moving on now. We're going to, we have some new stuff coming up. Oh, wait, we can eat now? Uh huh. Should I have a cookie first or the. Whatever uh, you want. I like the idea of eating. Can I just, I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna have some of the St. Joseph's cake, right? It's for you. Now, where is this from? This is from Isgro's. Uh, and Tony Isgros. and I share a love of Isgro's. Oh, uh, I love Isgro's. One of my favorite places. You know the best part of Isgro's, not only the great pastries? What? It's right next door to Ralph's, which that's, is another one of our that's favorites. That's my ones. favorite. <laughs> like, so when you do go to Ralph's, what do you get? I love the chicken parm. I uh, see, I know, I always get the veal parm every time I go. The veal parm is uh, good too. It's, but this is my little secret. I don't know if I want to Is it okay to anyone. talk when we're yeah. eating talk? I used to do this all the time again, yell at. I'm not gonna yell at you, so we're good. This is my thing, because I love to eat with people. When I go to Ralph's, I do not like mussels, but their mussel sauce, the juice that it comes in, is ridiculous. So I ask for a side of mussel sauce, I dip the sarcones bread, I eat that, and then I ask them to put it on my veal parm. Oh, wow. That's my secret. So now is it sharing. is it the white sauce you like? No, it's red. Okay. It's red and it's got all garlic in it. It's so good. Italian. I'm like I have to have red. So speaking of that. Garlic? No, it's being Italian. <laughs> well, well, I guess it's garlic is part of being exactly. Italian. You know, I always say there's two things Italians that there's never you never say there's too much. Garlic right. and cheese. Absolutely. Right? Garlic and cheese. Mm-hmm. Or even grated cheese on you know when you go order pasta. Yeah. You have to you, just, you don't say stop. Mm -mm. If they're grading it for you, I never say stop. <laughs> so they just stop and they say it's enough. I said, give me one more, little, just one more. There you go. Give me one more. <laughs> so you get the veal parm at Ralph's. What are your other go-to Philly places? Well, I mean, I, I just like to try a lot. Of, luckily, where we live here in East Pass Young, which is one of the hot neighborhoods now, places. one of the hot restaurant neighborhoods in the country, not just it in really Philadelphia. Is. It's an amazing. It's it was just recently written up as one of the hottest restaurant districts. So there's a lot of great places here. We like to try different places, and we just went to Punk Burger, which is a nice new place, and you know. But we like we like to go to uh, El Vez in the city when we have Mexican because okay. they're they're great there. But it's not traditional Mexican. Uh, I like all kinds of food, except I'm not a big Indian food. I'm not big on heavy curry, like on that, yeah. but I like to try. Although I've, I've I've gotten better. When I was a kid, I wouldn't eat anything except Italian food. Yeah. Because my mom, that's all I would eat. Right. We never went to restaurants. We were poor. Oh. Back then, when we were poor, we actually were poor. Right. You know, now poor people have cell phones and <laughs> color TVs and direct TV and satellite and cars and $200 shoes. We were broke. We were really broke. Yeah. You know what I mean? What do you think? Because to me, we're, talk we're on the subject of Italian food. What is an absolute violation to order in an Italian restaurant? I know my answer. Ooh. Because I got a fight. Okay. Although there's some good Italian restaurants that have good steak. Well, when I go to Italian restaurants, they really only have Italian food on there. So it's, is, it an, is it considered Italian food? It is. I don't know. For me, an absolute violation is risotto. Yeah, yeah you're right. I'm because like, what the hell is that? Because you're not going to get... <laughs> risotto is what you get when you don't eat pasta. Right. Risotto is good, though. I like risotto. I like risotto, but if you're going to an Italian restaurant, I believe you cannot order risotto. I agree with you, because I don't order risotto in Italian. I'll, I'll order I risotto in like, an Italian. Like, that? if I get a steak or I get something else and this risotto on the menu as a side, right. that's what I'll that's do. Fine. But it's not yeah. Italian, you're right. No. But I got in a fight for with an ex for years about that. Really? Is that yeah. why is your ex? Mm -hmm. That's a good reason. I got so mad at him. I you, said... You cannot have that kind of food fighting, so to speak. That's not right. an actual food fight. But those kinds of really, really damaging disagreements right. when it comes to risotto and when it's applicable to actually order it. That's right. And I'm sorry, we're in an Italian restaurant. You're getting authentic. I don't exactly. know this risotto crap. Although risotto is good, though. It is. When you're having it's got to have cheese. It's got to have a lot of cheese. Yeah. Maybe. You're right. Seafood on top. That's a good. That's, yes. You're absolutely right. But I never even thought of that. You order at an Italian restaurant. Okay. Like you don't go to go to Ralph's. You don't order a grilled cheese risotto. sandwich at an Italian restaurant either, do you? No. No. Although I don't order grilled cheese sandwiches anywhere, actually, because I love grilled cheese. I do love grilled cheese. I love all kinds of cheese, seriously. I'm a cheeseaholic. Me too. And so red I wine. I can't. Now, this is a uh, very nice Cabernet Predator. Nice. Very recently placed red wine, and you like red wine. I love red wine. Robin and I love red wine. 
But your crew here doesn't like red wine. We won't hold it against them. Exactly. It's an outrage. That's like well, that's like ordering risotto at Thank an Italian you. restaurant <laughs> is being Italian and not drinking red wine. Absolutely. Drinking beer over red wine? Really? You know what they call that? An outrage. And I was thinking, Or a medigon. That's exactly what I was yeah. Say. So if they filmed a movie about your life, what would it be called and who would play Tony? Wow. I have no idea. I wouldn't think there would be a movie about my life. Of course there would be. I don't want it to be a mob movie. No. So I don't like Joe Pesci or uh, any of these other guys who are just <laughs> always in mob movies to play me. Listen, I love all these Italian guys, but the whole mob thing really bugs me. Okay. And there's only one Tony Bruno, so I don't know who could play. Although, you know who could play me? Brian Cranston. Was, okay, that was who I was thinking. Brian Cranston could play me, but he'd have to shave his head and get the goatee back. Right. And because everybody thinks I look like Brian, well, not Brian Cranston per se, but... The guy he played. Heisenberg, yes. That's it, yeah. Heisenberg. In Breaking Bad. In Breaking Bad. But I actually looked like this before he did, and I actually knew Brian Cranston, because when I was in L.A., I was on the Best Damn Sports Show. Oh, yeah. And he came on the show, and we used to just talk about sports. He's a big sports fan. Hmm. So fast forward, all these years That's later, funny. Breaking Bad's on. I, I, I never watched it, and everywhere I would go, people said, you look like Frank, you look like Heisenberg. And I had no idea, so it was like into the third season, before Robin and I said, we had Netflix, I said, we gotta watch this show. Because everybody keeps telling me I look like this Heisenberg guy. We went out as Halloween, Robin went out as his wife, and I Love went out it. as Heisenberg. And we won like every Halloween costume. We didn't even have to do anything. I, was gonna say I didn't have to go out and buy a costume. I just went out looking like me. Oh, I bought a pair of cheap glasses that looked like his. <laughs> what would it be called, your movie? Oh, I have no idea. That would be the name of the movie. <laughs> oh, I, I have no idea. Have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> that would be called It's an Outrage. It's an Outrage. So that's one of my favorite lines. It's an Outrage, the Tony Bruno story. I don't want to be around for the zombie apocalypse. You? See, I don't have a singing voice. See, people no, think because you have a nice speaking voice, you can sing. I, that's why I love karaoke, because I go in and people think I'm going to be able to sing and I'm the absolute worst, but that's what makes it fun. I'm the best. Nobody who sings should be ever, ever go to a karaoke bar. I know, that's the You should not be, they should not be allowed in. Professional, not even professionals, people with good singing voices should never go to karaoke. So, and then I reserve the right to ridicule you if you're wearing flip-flops and it's snowing out, you know? I'll call you a student. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> but I don't, I don't mean it viciously, it's just an observation. That's all I do is make observations. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right, isn't that what we do? We all do it. It's not yeah. just me. No, yeah, for sure. We just don't, a lot of us don't have the guts to admit that stuff or tell people that. I don't go up to people and say, why are you wearing flip-flops? <laughs> no. It's 20 degrees out. But I just look at them and shake, I just shake my head. Yeah. I just shake my head. I hope you don't shake your head at me for anything. I would never shake my head at you, okay. Gina. Come on. I know. I'm bringing St. Joseph's cakes for this. And we're drinking wine. That's right. And life, is, life good. is good. Salud. Thank you. Tony, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Salute you for again. being one of Philly's finest. Thank, thank you. you. Salute. Thank you. Thanks.